whatever problems we have, we pray to God and money solves all problems. Money actually makes problems. Um, had a few dollars myself, was was I was I was miserable. I asked God, I prayed to God to take everything away from me. And I I prayed to God to take everything away from me because I wasn't happy. <clears throat> and I and, and I live my life to be happy at this point. And I'm happy at this point. <clears throat> I'm saying it to say that, you know, you what we do, we pray, and we um we tend we tend to think God is gonna come save you from all your problems. <clears throat> When they say problems make you stronger, God is making you stronger by putting you through these problems. He's not going to give you the problems that you can't handle. He will give you no problem that you can't handle. You heard that many times before, and he won't. Every problem that, that he gives you, all you have to do is be patient. Be patient. <clears throat> you're going to get out of the problems that you're in. It's not set for you to stand your problems and everybody else getting out of theirs. So you, all you have to do is to believe in God in that manner. Um... Stop thinking God is going to come save you every time you get in trouble. You always call for God to get you out of, to get you out of trouble. He's not going to come here. <clears throat> he got so many so many more things to do than to come get you out of the problems that really not problems. And you know, and you only call on God when you when you have problems. That's not fair to God. That's only that's like your boyfriend, your girlfriend only calling you when they need something. You feel used. Understand, God has feelings. Stop using God for your needs only. And let God know that you appreciate Him for the days that you give Him. The things that you that we have every day, I can see. I can talk. I can eat. I have clothes. I have materials that, I mean, I have so many extra things that people don't have. I'm so appreciative of that. And I thank God for that. You have probably more than I got. And you don't thank God for them. Stop asking God for the things you want and the things you think you need. And start thanking him for the things that you already have. I'm out.